Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover factors, common factors, and greatest common factor. Now, when we think of factors of a number, we need to think, what numbers can we multiply to equal that given number? Or, what numbers can we divide that given number by evenly? So, divide with no remainder. Now, it's not the most technical or mathematical way to word it, but you can think what numbers go into the given number. This will all make a lot more sense as we go through our example. Let's jump into our example where we have 12 and 18. We're going to list the factors of 12 and 18, then find common factors, and then lastly, find the greatest common factor, which is also referred to as the GCF. Let's start with the factors of 12. And my suggestion would be to always start with one and the number itself. We can think of factors in terms of pairs. So 1 times 12 equals 12, or we can divide 12 by those factors, however you want to think about it. So I'm going to write 1 and 12 with a gap in between. That way we can write the other factors in between 1 and 12, and we can write them in order. Now we need to list the other factors of 12. So let's think about what else goes into 12, so to speak. Think of multiplication facts, division facts, and we can work our way up from one. So there are different strategies and ways to work through this. The next factors are two and six. Two times six equals 12. So two and six are factors of 12. So two and six. Then we have three and four. Three times four equals 12. So three and four are factors of 12 as well. And again, we can also think of these factors in terms of division. We can divide 12 evenly by these factors. Now, are there any more factors of 12? No, we are done. That's our list of factors for 12. Let's move on to the factors of 18. We will start with 1 and 18. So 1 and 18 with a gap in between. Next, we have 2 and 9. 2 times 9 equals 18. So 2 and 9 are factors. Then we have 3 and 6. 3 times 6 equals 18. So 3 and six are factors of 18. And that's it for the factors of 18. You can always try more if you're unsure if you have all of the factors. For example, we can think about four, five, seven, eight, and so on, but we are done. That's our list of factors for 18. One thing I do want to mention about factors and writing out these factor lists is that you will get better the more you do. So writing the factors, the spacing of your lists, or whatever else the case may be. So something to keep in mind. Now let's take a look at the common factors between 12 and 18. That just means the factors they share, the factors they have in common. So one is a common factor. Two is a common factor. Three is a common factor. And then six is a common factor. So the common factors between 12 and 18 are one, two, three, and six. Now we have the greatest common factor or GCF. That's just the greatest factor in value that they share or have in common. The greatest common factor between 12 and 18 is 6. So the greatest common factor equals 6. So there you have it. There's an explanation of factors, common factors, and greatest common factor. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.